these are not gonna fit under my bed. And now, the wedding dresses and other special occasion dresses, most of which are handmade and are family heirlooms. Let's address them. Yeah, I mean, look at that. They are not gonna fit under my bed. Are they gonna have to go up in the closet? I don't want them to go up in the closet. Oh, tough choices, tough choices. I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. One thing I did wanna mention, I am so impressed with the kind of durable, heavy duty fabric. I mean, it's not, you know, you're not gonna put a bunch of barbells in there, but to keep your clothes nice and tidy and not getting dusty and be able to see what is in that bag, these are fantastic. Okay, oh God. So this dress, I'm gonna repurpose into something else um, or offer it out to family or friends that are LDS. That was what I used it for. I'm not gonna get into that on here. Then we have Olivia's blessing dress and bonnet. Look how gorgeous, oh my God. My mom made this. Yeah, she made it. My mom's an amazing seamstress, but look at what is going on here. For sure, Olivia maybe spit up on it or something and we didn't catch it in time or didn't realize and it's like yellowed. So I do want to get this and my wedding dresses cleaned. Like even this, this was my baptism dress and look how like yellowed that is. And it's another one that my mom made. And look at the back, look how fun this is. It's all these fun poofy layers of lace. I don't know if this can be kind of revived and, and then even if I am able to get it kind of, you know, revived, refreshed, then what do we do with it? There's no way I'm getting rid of these. There's, it's, that will not happen. But what do we do with them? And can this be fixed? My wedding veil. I didn't have a veil with my first marriage, but I did with James. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. But what do we even do with it? It sits in a bag. <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't feel as bad getting rid of the veil. And I mean, I could sell it. These things are ridiculously expensive. Maybe that's the thing to do is to sell the veil and keep the dress. I'm not making decisions right now though. Absolutely not. I am, nope. So I'm gonna put this in one of the bags, one of the garment bags and then add it to this, well, I can't call it a tote, but this bag. This was my temple dress. I was three years old when I wore this with my family in an LDS uh, ceremony. And my mom made it. We had matching dresses. I was the only girl at the time. There was just myself and two older brothers and my parents. It definitely has wear and tear because I continued to use it as like a play dress and, and whatnot, wore it to church, other things. <sighs> so it needs repairs. I don't know if that can be repaired. I just don't know. One thing I am really happy about is that it's not yellow. It's still very white. I'm amazed and impressed and super happy about that. Okay, are you ready for the main event? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, it, it looks pretty white on the skirt, but can absolutely see yellowing up here. Look at the sparkles, <gasps> sparkles. Oh, God, I love this dress. I'm going to look into how much it costs to, um, here's something funny. Why am I glittery right there? I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but where normally you would have like deodorant marks, there's glitter. What does that say about Frugal Mama? I don't know. Oh, anyway, I'm going to look into how much it would cost to get it cleaned and preserved. And I will, I'll keep you all updated. But until then, it's going to go in here. And then, oh man, this needs so much work. Look at this on the dress my mom made. Well, it looks like it's only on the inside. Keep in mind, and I am so ashamed to admit this, but these dresses 
were stored in our attic for a long time. I'm so, I mean, I am ashamed. I am ashamed. You don't need to, you don't need to tell me. I already know and I admit I am ashamed. I am embarrassed. I am mortified. Okay. But they were in the attic and I'm guessing that's where these, these stains came from. Can they be removed? I hope so. Oh, this dress. Oh, P.S. At the bottom, the hem of the newer wedding dress. Newer, almost 18 years. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that glorious? Oh, my God. And it's just all this beautiful, sparkly wonder sitting in a bag. There's got to be something else we can do. P.S. This dress is a size 6. So... <laughs> It's not like I can go prancing around in it and, and playing in it. Mama right now is at like a size 22. Would I love to wear this again just for fun? Absolutely. That That's a thing. But it's not good for me mentally to think about it, you know? Oh, God, but it's so pretty. All of this. I mean, look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Seriously, that was like the theme. Oh no, there's someone that... Oh, shoot. Oh, I hope they can get that out. This has to be from something that happened in the attic. There's other spots too. I am broken. I am broken. Oh, but it was a like a medieval castle type, renaissance type, whatever. All of those together type theme, as you can tell. Right here, it was a low cut, just barely above the boobaliciousness. Look at this. And these gorgeous sleeves. Look at all these little buttons. <laughs> I think they're on the back, too. Oh, no, the back is a zipper. Yeah, that's right. The back is a zipper. But all these little buttons that we had to do and undo. All of these beautiful beads. Oh, oh man, I wonder if it's going to cost me a fortune to get this cleaned up, repaired, and preserved. It's worth it to me, jeez. What to do with it, though, when it's done getting cleaned up and preserved? I don't know. I just don't know. That's the problem with special event dresses, particularly wedding because when else are you going to wear a glorious, long, trailing, white dress? So it was this one, the newer one, that had buttons up the back. It also has a zipper, but then all of these buttons. <laughs> and I love this cutout back. It was so pretty. Oh, All right, so I put the newer one in here, but to be honest, I think it can fit in this one or... The other way around. This one can go inside of this one. Lulu's playing with the veil, having some fun. La, la, la. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're having fun dreaming. So we'll put this one inside of this one. And then Olivia will take them upstairs for me. And they are going to go in the cedar chest, which absolutely makes sense. And the other um, precious dresses that I have up in the cedar chest will be added to these bags. So fun little idea. Well, two things. One, I'm definitely keeping the veil. My daughters can use it. How special is that? And then with this dress, I am going to either give this part away or um, refashion it for the, the girls to do something. But I'm keeping, I didn't realize that this vest part wasn't connected. So I'm keeping the vest. Oh, yes. But I have fabric dye and I'm probably going to color it either black or purple. Kitty's like, what? No, no, don't scratch at this, my new blanket. Oh, kitty. Anyway, I'm going to have fun with this. You know, all blinged out and dyed fun colors. That is so Julie. Okay, I realized how silly that was, putting a bag inside a bag when I could use this for something else. So silly. I'm tired. Anyway, there you go. It's all in there. That is a huge thing to cross off my list. Just Get her away from there. Just Lulu, Lulu. Just add her in. I will look into how much it will cost to preserve this stuff. Get it all, you know, tidied up. I don't know when I will be doing that, like actually getting it done. But I will at least start researching and get an idea what it's going to cost. And now, 
The wedding dresses are in the cedar chest. Is this ideal and perfect? No, absolutely not. Do I still have a lot of work to do when it comes to the cedar chest and getting things sussed out? <laughs> of course I do. But at least now they are appropriately packaged, being stored where they belong in my cedar chest, waiting to be repaired, cleaned, and preserved. And they're not taking up space in my closet anymore.